So let's take a look at the best method to try and remove the original Game Gear screen and effectively transplant it to another console. Now, removing them is nice and easy. So I've already shown this technique. But all we do is put the screen down. So you have to first unscrew the four screws uh, that are holding the screen in. And then it flips out like this. At this point, it's taped on with some electrical tape here, like factory tape. This one's obviously peeled off and not really stuck down. Uh, but that's normally stuck down. And then this is soldered like a ribbon here. So to remove it nice and easily without doing any damage, just simply place this down, bend forward. So we're applying like a, a bend like this. And what that's doing is making these pins want to bend up. If we then put something to stop this moving, like that, we can then leave this kind of pressure on, grab a hot air gun, and simply go down the pins. So if we hover over for a short period and work down, you'll see the pins physically clicking off as you scroll down. This means you remove it without any physical interaction with the soldier iron, and it doesn't apply any kind of stress to the connection. While it's still warm, just push down and peel back, and the tape removes itself from the board. Once that's off, we should be left with a nice, clean connector here. And on the screen, with any luck, we're also left with pins that are reusable. So you can see there, they look like they are reusable. You want to gently peel off the old tape. And if this is firm, again, just use a little bit of heat to soften up the tape. And that's the old tape removed. I wouldn't worry about this. This is just a little bit of adhesion left. So say we want to transplant this now. We can remove it from another Game Gear, but it makes no difference. You'd remove the other screen in just the same way. And then to prep this board for a new transplant, you want to flux all the pins, get some desolder wick. Uh, we recommend Goot Wick. We sell this if you want to use this. It has more flux and a tighter weave, so it does help with the wicking. Put your soldering iron on nice and hot. Anywhere from 380 to 420 is good. Place the iron on the board and gently drag down to de-wick all the old solder off the pins. As you're doing this, you can see the difference between the pins on the right and the pins on the left as they're clean. And you do this because you don't want to reuse that old solder. You want to apply some fresh solder so that when you reflow the new screen on, all the connections are made much easier. With all the old solder off, grab a cotton wool board and IPA while it's still warm, and clean up all the flux. You can see now we have a nice, clean and flat surface ready for the new screen. Now before we do that, we're going to apply some fresh solder. So apply some flux again on the pins. And basically drag solder. So just make a nice big ball of solder here on your iron. And just slowly drag down. Don't be afraid about making joins and not use enough solder. The key will be to have plenty of solder on here. So you want to make sure you have a nice bubble of solder on the pins. Once you've done that, again, remove the flux with IPA. And we have a nice pre-tinned LCD connector now. So that's the Game Gear prepped. So now for the screen, you want to do similar to the screen. You're just going to have to be a little bit more careful because this is um, a thin ribbon and it's delicate. So you don't want too much heat. So turn your iron down for this one if you're not comfortable with using the iron. Apply some fresh flux on the board. And I don't bother removing the old solder on this because there's never any solder on this ribbon. It almost always comes off and stays on the board. If there is old solder, then de-wick uh, the same way we've just on the board, just with less heat. And now with this, we're going to do the same. We're just going to work a lot quicker. So you can see I'm lifting and dragging the iron on and off. I'm not leaving the iron on. And this is because there's nothing to take away the heat on this ribbon. It's just thin polyamide and copper. 
So if we left the iron on and drag slowly, we'd probably lift the pads. Again, while it's warm, IPA the connector clean. And just remember, the screens don't like IPA. So try not to get any on the actual screen up here, just the ribbon. Clean the back of the ribbon as well, because we're going to apply some tape there in a moment. And with a towel now, just gently dry all of the ribbon. And there we have the new ribbon with fresh solder, which you can feel all the bumps of solder on there. And we have the game gear with, again, fresh solder all the way down. The final step is to solder this back on. So what we want to do for that is grab some electrical tape. Similar technique to how they probably did it in the factory. I'm guessing it was by hand as well. Just get some good electrical tape. And what we're going to do is basically slide this under the board, ready for soldering to the pins underneath. And when it's in position, tape it here so that it keeps it in a rough position. So to do that, we need some tape over this way. So just apply it like that, and you can see the pins are underneath here. And now if we just flip around, uh, we're going to align this by eye. So as you hover the pins over, you'll notice you can see through, and you can see where the pins want to align. So simply align it up with looking at pin 1 down here lines up with pin 1, and pin 68 lines up with pin 68, and you have one little flap over where you see the unused pin underneath. With that in position, simply apply the tape with the back of your hand underneath to start sticking it in place. And if we flip over, you can see I've started sticking it down. Once you've done that all the way down, you'll still need to support the ribbon from just simply folding down like this and bending out of position like that. So it's only roughly held in place. So what you do is just grab, say, electrical tape and rest it on there. And just support your game gear the other side with something else to keep it all in a nice resting position where this wants to stay flat. Now apply a little bit more flux down the edge. And what we're going to do is simply put our iron on the exposed part of the solder. You can also, if you find it easier, just hold the screen with your hand. And the idea is to warm up the solder underneath to bond the two together. As you're doing this, you'll tend to find you can physically see the solder melt underneath this ribbon and kind of bond. So you see how you can kind of see the solder underneath the ribbon go liquidous. And then you can go on top after and kind of work your way around like this. And if you find you can't get the pins to flow underneath, then you can just apply some solder to your iron to help with the flow. Make sure you have plenty of flux. And you should find that simply reflowing the pins rejoins them. Once you've soldered all your pins, if you get some IPA again, and just go down to clean up, you can do one extra step if you're not sure and you're not confident that these are on. And that is to make sure that this ribbon is not in a position where it wants to lift up. So make sure the game gear is slightly lower than the screen, basically. And in that position, just get your hot air the same way we removed it. And go over it while holding it down with tweezers. And as you can see, this will ensure that the pins are flowed on nicely and you can literally see and feel them flowing on. And then once you've done all the pins, you should be able to move this around and see that none of the pins want to come off or move. So you can see there, none of the pins are loose. You can see with tweezers when you push down that the solid. And then with that, your new screen is in. You can take away this tape. 
because it's been warmed up by the solder. Fold the screen back out. Get a piece of fresh tape and apply it firmly down onto the screen. Fold the screen back into position. Secure it with screws and just stick the tape down that side. And then you have a brand new soldered in transplant of a screen. So it really isn't that difficult if you follow the steps. The main trick will be getting the ribbon back on. And when you warm up with the iron, you don't want to be there too long because the ribbon can melt. So you basically flux it and flow down the pins, gain it to tack into position in essence. And then the final hot air step, similar to removing, don't put your hot air on too much, maybe 460 Celsius at about 70 or 80% speed. Go nice and close, but move fairly fast and come off and on as you're warming up so that you don't warm everything up at once and it all just flicks back off. So there's just the technique you've seen to get used to. But overall, so long as you don't apply too much heat to the ribbon is the key. You won't damage the ribbon and you can have several attempts until you get it right. So hopefully this was useful for you guys. If you want to see me restoring any other consoles in any other way or anything you're interested in, just let me know in the comments what you want to see and I'm sure I'll cover it. That's it for this one and I'll catch you in the next.